Why, hello everyone! I'm your lovely host, Innocent, and welcome to today's video! Now, if you watch my speed paints, you're gonna know that I don't usually talk in them, but I wanted to just kinda talk and clarify a few things about this one, because it's like a draw this again type of thing. A meme, if you will. <laughs> Basically, I drew this picture twice before, once in 2015, that is the one on the right. That one was done completely by a mouse, nothing else. And the one that is on the left was drawn last year, 2016, and well, as you can see, I, I improved from both of them. The one in 2015, obviously drawn with a mouse and not the greatest, but you know what, pretty good. Shading is a <laughs> But hey, it is good for what it is. The one not from 2016 obviously improved, but it, it's just like a headshot and <sighs> I wanted to do something more for this time. So I wanted like, I, I kind of stole this from Drawing with Waffles where she draws Rapunzel every year, but she does that on New Year's and I usually do this one in November, but I kind of put it off because I forgot about it and then I did it now in October. So, that's a thing. <laughs> Regardless, I'm really proud of how this one turned out. I learned, I have learned a lot over the past three years. Mostly in shading in them. I am completely self-taught. That, that is not even an understatement. I have no idea what I'm doing. I have, I have not been taking any classes on art or art theory or color theory or anything. Everything that I learned is just... Huh, well, that looks good. Let me try it. <laughs> I, I barely know anatomy since I, I learn it myself. And I don't do like figure drawing classes or anything, even though I really want to. But that's another story. I just kind of study people when I see them. A little bit awkward. A little bit mostly weird. Not a little bit. It's, it's very weird. But, well, whatever. Whatever gets you through the day. <laughs> but... The one thing I think I could improve on with this piece would be the legs. I I'm not very proud of them. Th they're kind of lackluster. Th they don't have real feet. Then again, I don't think she would have real feet. She's a spider. I, I did the whole only four finger tactic with her. In the first picture from 2015, I did the three finger tactic, but I, I changed it up a bit because it looked a little bit more natural this way. But it's three fingers and a thumb. I could have went the Mickey Mouse route. Well, I did go the Mickey Mouse route. What am I saying? <laughs> Luckily, though, she's not wearing gloves like Mickey Mouse, and I don't have to draw those gloves ever again. Hopefully. Either way, I wanted to include things from the first picture, so I picked a teapot, a cupcake, a spider, and a donut for things that she could be quote-unquote holding, although they're all just hovering above her hands. So... Yeah, you know. <laughs> I'm really, really super proud of how her face turned out. It's so cute. And still in the creepy sense that I was going for it with the 2016 one. But still holding the cute appearance from the 2015 one. I really like how that one came out. It's It looks alien. Well, this one does look more spiderish, And she looks more gleeful and stuff like that. She looks alien regardless of what you do to her, but that's because nothing should have that many arms or that many eyes. I mean, she is a monster, so. Also, for clarification's sake, yes, I've played through Undertale. It was pretty big on my channel when I was first starting out YouTube. And, uh, to be completely honest with you, I'm not the biggest fan of Undertale. I actually would prefer never to play this game again in my life. Even if there was a remake or whatever, or even a sequel, I don't think I could, I don't think I could take it. <laughs> but that's just my personal opinion. And that's mainly because I went through this game like five times back to back in a row because other people wanted to see what it was and this and that. And I just, <sighs> I hate it now. <laughs> I love the characters and that's why I still draw them from time to time, especially Muffet, because I really love her design. But I don't- I can never play the game again. No. 
I mean, great on Toby Fox for what he's done. I just... Oh, boy. <laughs> anyway. Beyond that fact, I'm doing all of this in one take and I'm trying to stretch for time because I need to fill up like 10 minutes of bullshitting my way through life, <laughs> which I do every day, but when you're recording it, then <laughs> it's another story. Um, for the color palette, I went more off of the sprite in game than the previous two incarnations. I don't know why I didn't do it in the previous two incarnations, but uh, whatever. As you can see, I'm beginning to color it, and it's gonna be cool. Um, I really don't know why I chose different color palettes for her beforehand. I mean, to be honest, when looking at both my Muffet and the one next to... The, like, looking at my Muffet next to the one on the sprite, it definitely looks like a different color palette, but I think that's because my blue for her skin tone turned more purple when I was, like, overlaying things on top of it for the final part of it, because I like doing that. But either way, it looks great. It's still more towards her actual color palette than the other two. I mean, don't get me wrong, they're still near her color palette. It's just not accurate. Like, I, 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 I dropped the colors for this one. So I know they're, they're good. They're, they're accurate. <laughs> also, I hope you like Pink Frosted Donuts references, because those are here. Sometimes. <laughs> also, I was trying a new shading method with this one. At least for Psy. I don't tend to shade like this often, but eh, I was I was experimenting per usual. I do that with every single one of my pieces of artwork, so. If you don't like experimentation in artwork, you've come to the wrong channel. And I hope you guys don't mind that I'm going to basically just do a little advertisement right in the middle of this, or right at the end of this, really, for my Patreon if you ever want to come on down and see what I'm doing before it ever gets posted anywhere else. I post all of my artwork on Patreon right as it gets done. Everybody else has to, like, wait a day or two. This is excluding Inktober because... Inktober is the day of type of thing, and I'm not posting my Inktober to my Patreon because that's that. I, why would I do that? That just seems like a waste of time, really. Regardless, I'm still getting used to Patreon, and it would be nice if you could come down just for a dollar. You can see all my artwork before anybody else does. I, I mean, except for other Patreon people. <laughs> Also, if you saw yesterday's video of me complaining about this video, it, it turns out that it was corrupted. Although it wouldn't tell me that it was corrupted anywhere. Because computers are great. <laughs> but as you can see, I fixed it and it just took a lot of patience and about 12 hours worth of work. But hey, it's cool. It's done now. And... You know what? I'm still super proud of this thing, and I just I want to share it with the world because this type of um, improvement is always good to see in your work. Like I'm getting better every year. Once I like, if I draw this every year, I can see how much better that I'm getting every single year. And I'm regretting doing this in one take, but I've spent way too much time on this video that I can't afford to like not. <laughs> uh, regardless, this was really fun. I'm so proud that I finally did this and didn't forget about it. <laughs> but it's just, I love Muffet. Muffet's a great character. And I love art. So to combine those two things is wonderful. Also, 
I did do a speed paint on the 2015 version of this one. I'll leave a link in the description or in the little iCard thingy to where you can find that. It's one of my first speed paints on this channel and it shows, shows really bad. But that's what you get for having only a mouse and not a tablet. But hey, it's cool. It worked out in the end. A lot of people like that, even though it's really, really dark with the shading. Anyway, this was me drawing Muffet again for 2017. I'm really proud with how it turned out. I might turn this into like stickers or little charms. I don't know. If you like it, you could totally buy one, maybe. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the show. <laughs> Peace out.